had to start that uh, stop that video there. Mrs. Taylor came in for a little a little chat. She likes a little chats now and again, so she does. So anyway, she's a he is our ATP molecules. Okay, and what we're going to learn is that our ATP molecules they also um, convert into another type of molecule. Okay, and this other type of molecule is ADP. Okay, so this is adenosine again. Okay, but this time it's di phosphate because what's going to happen is we only have two of these phosphate groups okay so we've got our adenosine and then we only have two phosphate groups okay and what we're going to learn is we're going to learn the process of the change between and the importance of going from ATP to ADP, okay? Because what essentially is happening is, during this process, we're going from ATP to ADP, we're breaking down this compound. And when we break down, um, when we're breaking down ATP, into ADP, we are releasing energy. Whereas, when we go from ADP to ATP, we are building up, which is requiring energy. Okay, so there's a breaking down of ATP to ADP, and then we are building up this molecule, which therefore requires energy. So what you'll recognise is that this whole molecule here in essence, okay, it has our three phosphates attached. Okay, so our ATP, Okay, this, what we class as the terminal phosphate group, so terminal just means end, okay? So what happens is this bond um, has to be broken. So this bond here, okay? And when that bond is broken, okay, that releases energy. Okay, and this terminal phosphate, okay, and this is what we're going to talk later on about phosphorylation, can go away and can bind on to other ADPs to make it ATP again. Because essentially, what's happening is here, in fact, just a pen here, adenosine and two phosphates is our ADP because we've lost this terminal, this end phosphate group, whereas our adenosine and our three phosphates is our ATP. Okay? So when we're going from this ATP molecule to ADP, this end phosphate group is being released and that is giving us the energy for all of these different processes. However, what can happen through the cycle is phosphorylation, is this addition, this extra phosphate group that is released can therefore go and add on to this ADP with only two phosphates that creates a cycle that we therefore creates ATP and it just constantly goes round. Okay? So when we talk about ATP, we're going to say that ATP is important. as it acts as the link between catabolic okay so that's an important word uh, energy releasing reactions and 
anabolic, we'll talk about what these words mean in a minute, uh, consuming actions. Okay, so if you imagine this, you recognise this um, diagram from class. So here we have our ATP again, okay, and what's happening is through processes we are therefore um, converting ATP to ADP. We're losing this end phosphate group, okay. So essentially there is energy being released. or if you want to see it, it's provided, this energy is provided for certain uh, processes. And one of these processes is um, protein synthesis. Okay, so what's happening is we have amino acids, so small molecules, and this energy helps us create the larger molecule, which is going to be the protein. Okay, so that is a synthetic pathway. Synthesis, synthesis remember, just means uh, to make something. Whereas on the other side, we have energy being consumed. It's building something up. We're going from um, kind of smaller molecules to larger molecules. We're joining molecules together. Okay, so this is energy consumed. Okay, so this is a build up reaction. And what's happening is we're essentially, so think of it like what we're going to talk about uh, as cellular respiration. So we have glucose and oxygen. Okay, and what's going to happen is we're going to talk about um, in the following videos, we're going to take a molecule of glucose. We've already got oxygen in our system, hopefully. We'll talk about that in relation to exercise. And we're going to break this molecule down into the smaller components of it. And then we're going to end up with carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so... Cellular respiration. Okay, so fundamentally, what we need to remember is ATP provides the process where chemical energy is trans from, sorry, my writing is shocking, from one type of reaction to another in a living cell. Okay, so finally what I want you to do is I want you to think of it as, so my class knows I like some sweeties. So here we have our adenosine and here we have our little phosphate groups. Okay, so adenosine, one phosphate group, two phosphate group, three phosphate group, and this all makes adenosine triphosphate. So essentially what's going to happen is the wee bond, the wee link between these two phosphate groups is going to break and this end phosphate group is going to be released and we are left with ADP, adenosine diphosphate and the energy that is released is going to be used for other biological processes and then what's going to happen is the ADP therefore phosphorylation occurs and an additional phosphate group is added on which therefore converts it back to ATP and the cycle continues.